you ever wonder if hell exists on earth? An unsettling question, isn't it? But it's one that has been asked by countless generations before us as they huddled around flickering fires, sharing tales of nightmarish landscapes and ominous entities lurking in the shadows. Our journey begins in the dimly lit corridors of history where the first whispers of fear were born. These are the places where legends were spun into existence, where tales of spook towns and cryptic ritual sites first emerged. These tales, passed down through the ages, have painted a chilling portrait of a world that exists just beyond the veil of our everyday lives. Imagine, if you will, the earliest known spook towns, desolate and forgotten. They stand as stark reminders of a time when fear was as tangible as the cold wind on a moonless night. Their dark histories echo with stories of demonic activity and unusual occurrences that have left indelible marks on the souls of their inhabitants. Then there are the cryptic ritual sites, shrouded in an air of mystery and dread. These are the places where ancient civilizations are believed to have performed occult practices and demonic rituals, leaving behind an energy that still resonates today. The symbolism, inscriptions, and historical context surrounding these sites have baffled scholars and intrigued curiosity seekers for centuries. These stories, these places have instilled a sense of fear and unease in people across the globe. But is that fear rooted in reality or is it simply a product of our collective imagination? And if these places do indeed harbor demonic forces, what does that say about the world we live in? As we traverse these forgotten towns and explore these enigmatic sites, remember, every corner hides a tale waiting to be unmasked. Every shadow holds a secret. Every whisper carries a story. And as we peel back the layers of mystery, we may just find that the line between myth and reality is more blurred than we ever imagined. So are you ready to embark on this chilling journey? Are you prepared? to question what you know and challenge what you believe. As we delve into the heart of darkness, remember, there's no turning back. As we traverse these forgotten towns, remember, every corner hides a story waiting to be unmasked. Imagine sharing your world with the unseen, the eerie, the inexplicable. Picture a place where normalcy coexists with the abnormal, where spectral whispers mingle with the chatter of daily life. This is the reality for residents in our modern-day spook towns. Here, tales of the unexplained are as common as morning coffee discussions. These are not mere ghost stories spun around a campfire to scare the little ones. Rather, they are shared experiences, strange occurrences that have become woven into the fabric of these communities. Consider the inexplicable footsteps echoing through empty halls, the chilling breezes where no wind blows, the unending feeling of being watched. These are not figments of overactive imaginations, but tangible experiences that have left lasting impressions on those who dare to dwell in these shadowy realms. Living in such a place is not for the faint-hearted. It demands a certain bravery, a willingness to coexist with the unknown. It's a life marked in equal parts by fear and fascination, and it shapes the people molds them into beings who understand that there is more to this world than what meets the eye. These towns, steeped in legends and shrouded in mystery, are not merely homes. They are living, breathing entities, each with its own pulse, its own heartbeat. And the people, they are not just residents. They are the keepers of secrets, the guardians of stories that defy explanation. In these places, the line between the living and the dead the natural and the supernatural often blurs. Ancient stones and cryptic symbols, what tales do they tell? Our journey takes us to places where time stands still, where the echoes of the past whisper in the wind. These cryptic ritual sites, etched with inscriptions of forgotten languages, hold secrets that have been passed down through generations. Imagine the scenes that unfolded here under the cover of darkness the air filled with the scent of burning incense, the ground echoing with the rhythmic beat of ceremonial drums and the night sky lit by the flicker of a thousand candles. Rituals, they say, that were performed to summon demonic entities or to appease the wrath of unseen forces. Each symbol etched into the stone, each inscription, 
tells a tale of ancient practices performed in the belief of their power. Theories abound about what these rituals may have entailed and the potential consequences they may have had. Some suggest they were attempts to harness dark energies. Others propose they were rites of protection against the very same forces. Despite the passage of time, these sites seem to retain a lingering energy, a palpable sense of unease, as though the echoes of the past still resonate within them. Are these merely the remnants of ancient superstitions, or do they hold some deeper, darker truth? These stones may be silent, but their stories continue to echo through time. When we gaze into the abyss, does it gaze back? As we journey deeper into the heart of these spooked towns and cryptic ritual sites, we find ourselves immersed in an atmosphere that teeters on the edge of our understanding. The experiences we've encountered here are both unsettling and mystifying, to say the least. In these seemingly forsaken places, we felt the chill of unseen presences, heard whispers carried on the wind that speak of long-forgotten rituals, and seen shadows dance in the corners of our eyes. These are not just stories or figments of overactive imaginations. They are experiences, as real and tangible as the cold stones under our feet. In the quiet town of, we stumbled upon an old house, long abandoned. As we ventured inside, the air turned heavy, and an inexplicable sense of dread washed over us. It was as if the very walls of the house were echoing with the fears and sorrows of its past inhabitants. Then there was the cryptic ritual site nestled deep within the heart of an ancient forest. The carvings on the stones spoke of rituals performed in the dead of night, offerings made to unseen entities. As we stood there, in the midst of these ominous symbols, we felt a strange energy, a lingering presence that seemed to seep out from the very earth beneath us. These are not experiences easily dismissed, nor are they easily explained. They challenge our perception of reality and force us to question the nature of the world we live in. Is there more to these experiences than mere coincidence? Could there truly be unseen forces at play entities that lurk in the shadows just beyond our comprehension. As we step back from this journey, we're left with a question. Have we been chasing shadows or have we truly glimpsed hell on earth? The answer, it seems, lies in the eye of the beholder, in the depths of our own beliefs and in the courage to confront the unknown. In the end, what matters most are the questions we dare to ask. Through our journey, we've traversed eerie towns peered into cryptic rituals and confronted the unseen. We found that where legend meets reality, shadows do harbor secrets. Yet many mysteries remain, whispering in the darkness, beckoning us to delve deeper. As we part ways with these shadowed lands, remember the greatest exploration often lies not in the world around us, but within our own minds.